piss the judge off by doing that. <laughs> right? Okay. That's what you want to do. Okay. So you want to ask, and you could do the other thing too there with asking the court to present you with the original charge. I'm the administrator. I'm here to settle. I'm duly authorized. Give me the original charge. When they give it to you, don't accept it. Just write not accepted, refused, whatever you want on it. Doesn't matter. You've just canceled it. And that works by itself. I don't see why it wouldn't. What are they going to say? You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just did it. Yeah, they're hungry for money up here, uh, down here. Yep. Yep. Say no, thank you. I don't wish to contract with these people. Offer refused. Huh. And again, okay. there, there's the other argument you could make. Well, just because I have this, uh, the, this light. Well, we're getting into commercial trucking now, though, too. So the whole thing about just because I have a license doesn't mean I was operating it at the time of the complaint. That's always a good argument, too. But you might not want to get into that because you are going to need your license for make, gaining a livelihood. So. Well, the thing is, I don't have to worry about working for somebody else. I'm an independent uh, trucker, so I own my own business and I drive for myself. Okay. Uh, and and I've got a contract to haul for these people that I just now dropped the trailer for, so they like the job I do for them. And uh, the the guy that uh, uh, the uh, we call it thing transportation manager, he's been a driver, and he matter of fact, he's still got his okay. CDL. Okay. So and he if, knows what kind of clowns they can be. So if you were engaged in a private contract at the time you were pulled over, what has the state got to do with that? Uh, basically, the way I look at it, they got nothing to do with it. There you go. Uh, so you might want to bring that up with them. Say, excuse me, I was engaged in a private contract at the time of the complaint. I was not performing a function of government or anything else you have jurisdiction over. What's your standing in this matter? Ooh, cool. And you would... And you would still aim that at the at the uh, deputy that pulled you over, not the not the court. Well, now it's going to be against the state because it's going to be a state prosecutor coming against you, right? Uh, county. County, county prosecutor, I guess. Yeah. There you go. So your problem yeah. is now with the county prosecutor if he takes it to court, because he's assumed liability for what the deputy did. Okay. So um, I can put the paperwork in first, see if I can stop it that way, and then if I can't stop it that way, then. Go into court and defend it that way. Yep, and I would uh, I would start to uh, people can get into things like counterclaims and uh, fining the county for uh, for getting involved in your own in your private business. Get out of my private business, or I'm going to fine you. Okay. So well, what he was saying what he was saying is he had the right to pull me over because and he was looking over my trailer and I said unless you have an FMCSA certification you can't look over my rig to see if I've got anything wrong you don't know what you're looking at well I not can only tell that if your but tires are bad and all this stuff I said yeah you're not allowed to though yeah the, 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 the statutes the, the little statutes you're talking about only apply when you're going to be doing work for the government anyways not a private okay. not a private matter even though you have a plate a, a, a state plate on your truck and you have a state license that doesn't mean that you're using it at the time of the complaint because you were engaged in private commerce at the time they detained you were you not that's right, I was. What, is, what do statutes have to do with private with, with private contracts? Nothing. Statutes only apply okay. to contracts between you and the government. Okay. So take the ticket, fight, in the, fight the county uh, prosecutor. Don't, don't get into it with the cops at the side of the road because they, they, they don't have the authority to do what they do, but they're going to do it anyways. Yeah, because they've got a quota to meet. Yeah. They've got a gun. They'll shoot you. Oh, that did ask him that. They night. kill people, I, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, don't argue asked, with them. Argue with the prosecutor when you get to the court. I asked him, I said, is that thing loaded? He says, yes, of course it's loaded. I said, okay, threat, duress, and coercion. All right. There you go. And I think, I think that's why he did not have me sign the ticket. Probably not. <laughs> so, so there you go. That that better be in your affidavit that you're sending off to the uh, the county prosecutor. Yeah. Oh, and then another thing is he the main reason he pulled me over, I was riding the left lane. I told him, I said, safest place for me to be is the left lane. I said, if I'm on the right-hand side and you've got, you've got somebody pulled over up there, where do you want me to be? Left-hand lane. I said, when I'm riding in the right-hand lane and a car wants to get uh, get up here and get off at the exit real quick, guess what they do? They run down the left lane, then they jump over in front of me, hit their brake, and then jump off. And I I, I saw, uh, 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 what do you call it, North Carolina cop do it yesterday in front of another truck. I was I... in the left lane, and he jumped right in front of this truck in the right-hand lane. Yep, exactly. I would say if you got a problem with me driving in the, in the right in the left hand lane, write me a ticket for it. Yeah, and and uh, he he got me for seven over instead. Yep. Yeah, they'll do uh, anything. Yeah, they're, they're idiots, but don't don't argue with them. 
They're, they're pointless yeah. to argue with a meat puppet. And that's what they are. They find the most stupid people they possibly can who are on ego trip to pull you over just to just to argue with you and get you to fight so they can shoot you if they really feel like it. They're idiots. Don't try to reason with them or or use logic with them. If if you want if you, if you want because you're going to be you're engaging in private commerce on on the on the public roads which you have every right to do. Um, send the state a, a letter saying that when you're engaged in private commerce which is non-government contracts, if their state friggin' troopers bother you and pull you over and detain you one more time, you're going to sue the state every time they do that for 50000 bucks and start setting up fee schedules for that. And then when they pull you over, take the ticket. Yep, thank you. Oh, please give me a ticket. That That's worth fifty grand to me. Plus the face value of the ticket. Make sure you give me the original white copy, by the way. Yeah, and that's what he, he gave me, the uh, uh, the deeper pink copy. Yep. Not, he hand it right back to him. Hand it right back to him. Say, no, you must have me mistaken for somebody else. I'm the administrator. Give me the original. Yeah, that's good to remember. Yep. Well, I appreciate you coming on here tonight. I appreciate you, Angela, getting a hold of you. This has been really enlightening. Hey, I hope it works, and I hope people send me some success stories. we got to start fighting yeah, these, yeah. these people. So I tell you, I really want this to work for the truckers because we need to get uh, Ray LaHood and all them crooks off our back. Well, you guys bring the food to the supermarkets. I'm sure everybody appreciates that, so I'd prefer they leave you alone too. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Angela. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Dean. All righty, moving right along here. West Maryland. Go ahead. Did you have a question for Dean Clifford? West Maryland. Oh, West Maryland. <laughs> if you've got a mute button on your phone, press it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move on. West Maryland. West Maryland. Okay, we're going to move on to, oh, Dance Forever. Dancer Forever. I'm Hello. sorry, I should have got back to you sooner. Go right ahead. No problem. Yeah, um, about mortgages, especially foreclosure defense. We've been talking a little bit about that tonight. Hi, Dean. Hi, Hello. Angela. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> been studying this a little bit, and um, I know that uh, John Stewart in the uh, – your website, and uh, talks a lot about trust law, and I'm just curious how that relates with Dean's, you know, trust law defense also at the same time. Uh, I was wondering, different. I'm sorry? It's a little different. Um, the trust part that Dean, that uh, John Stewart talks about, um, it has to do with the trustee. When they go to foreclose on you, there's a trustee or an assignment of trustee, and there uh -huh. really is no trustee. So you can sue for fraud just because there's no real trustee. Okay. And there's no note and there's no loan. John also says show right. me the loan. Right, right, right. <laughs> But um, go ahead, Dean. I don't know what what's your take. Actually, on I, I, I don't, don't even. As far as the uh, part, fact that uh, you know how MERS claims that they're the beneficiary, okay, that's one thing. And then they uh, securitize the loan, and then they make their own, you know, uh, grantor depositors, and they have their own uh, uh, positions for everybody in the in that particular trust. And I know some people have created, like, their own trust in what is called asset protection, basically. And um, anyway, I was wondering, you know, if we can go apply some more things to that and make your own where you're the executor. And anyway, can you give me some ideas as far as that, Dean, maybe? Okay, now, so, so specifically speaking for a foreclosure on a house, like you were talking about originally there? Yeah, when, you know, people get a notice of default and uh, acceleration of the, you know, yeah. acceleration well, notice. B based on what was said there by Angela, actually, uh, to be honest with you, I don't think they're, uh, even even though this individual claiming to be a trustee may not be technically a real trustee according to law, if somebody's claiming to be a trustee, I think that's great. But uh, By your actions, you are a trustee. If you're claiming to be a trustee, you are. I think that's great if somebody wants to appoint themselves a trustee because now they can't get out of the appointment. Right. Um, I would I would appoint whoever's claiming to be the trustee. I would appoint them as the fiduciary trustee in the matter. Say thank you, thank you for being a trustee in this matter. 
Now, as the trustee, I need you to go and get the original mortgage document from the people that are claiming that they have it. Oh, but see, in John Stewart's method, you're suing them for breach of fiduciary duty. Okay. There is no trustee, so it's a little bit different. It is a little bit anyway. different. Okay. I would have no problems uh, with somebody being a trustee, but, uh, yeah, if you want to sue them because they can't provide their written, uh, their, their written delegated authority to actually be the trustee, um, you can go that route as well. People got to realize that once you understand what's going on, there's actually a million ways you can go with this stuff um, because you are in the driver's seat. Your, your signature is, is what authorizes everything anyways. No one can come against you. Um, I don't understand why people are creating all these tax shelter trusts. There's no need to because everything's based on contract law anyways. The, just the existence of your legal person doesn't create a tax obligation. Um, I, I think that's kind of what you were getting at maybe with that. There's no need to create any other trust other than the express trust that already exists, which is your, your legal person. And as soon as uh, that's, that's why the videos, that's the concept I was trying to get people to understand that's so important, which is the foundation uh, uh, concept of all this, is once you understand that you are the one that is, the, you own all the equity that's in the trust. You're the one that created it. You generated it. Your signature is, is God of that trust because you're the administrator. Um, you're in complete control and authority of your life. What do we call that? Knowing yes. who you are. Knowing who you are. That's what it is. And once you know who you are, the answers just pop right out to you. You know how to proceed in every every instance. Uh, but it takes some learning. It, uh, unfortunately, like I say in one of the videos there, um, you know, it, it's like I went to university for four years uh, and got a degree uh, in, in knowing who I am. And then people kind of come and they say, hey, awesome, can you teach me that in two hours? And I was like, well, mm, no, not really. Like there, 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 I could probably give you some of the concepts, but you're, you're never going to understand it until you actually like, like uh, start to live it and start to uh, start to start to teach it to others. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's the way it works. I mean, uh, the the knowledge is revealed to you. It's not something that you can just be be told in an hour. Uh, but um, I don't know. Geez, I, I, it's, it's kind of a vague question, but I, I hope I, I answered. No, it a I was bit. just wondering, you know, if there was another twist to it. I mean, I know what you're talking about is uh, knowing who you are and what what your role is on the trust. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just wondering if if it could be changed when you're in the court, you know, fighting the bank. I'm not sure what you would want to change because as the administrator, you're the one to, you're the one that's going to be demanding documents from the person bringing a claim mm -hmm. against your legal person, right? Mm hmm So if you're the so administrator, you say, no, 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 I... you're pleading. You're saying you want to. You want to make yourself that on the, on well, the clean? Well, I, 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 I hate doing that a things, little bit different. I hate doing things uh -huh. through the courts. What I like doing is mm -hmm. I like defaulting people in advance. So what I is uh -huh. if a bank's coming against me, I'm going to want to contact their solicitor in between hearing dates uh -huh. and say, hey, can you provide me with this and this and this and this and this? If you don't provide mm -hmm. me with the original mortgage document, then we have agreement that you don't have it. That nobody right. does. That the bank is no longer mm -hmm. the holder in due course, which means they have no claim. When they right. don't produce it, then you send in that document along with your uh, motion to uh, uh, to dismiss the charges or dismiss, dismiss the claim or strike the claim from the record, whatever you want to do. Uh, mm -hmm. You send in the document that you now have agreement. You have agreement with the other party. And the other party, what are they going to do? They're going to jump up and say, no, we don't have agreement. Say, well, then why didn't you produce the document? It says right here we have agreement that you're not the holder in due course if you don't present it to me, and you didn't present it to me. That sounds like agreement to me. Okay. If you have agreement of the parties, there's nothing left for the judge to make a determination on. Judges only handle disputes. If you have agreement, they have to act on that. That is law. Agreement, or a law is agreement of the parties. So get agreement from the party before you even go to court, and now there's nothing a judge can do about it. And like I say in the videos, agreement doesn't mean you agree with the person who's making a claim against you. Agreement means you get them to agree with you that they don't even have a claim in the first place. Now you have agreement when you go to the court. These guys have no claim. I have agreement with them. And then sue them for a frivolous and vexatious lawsuit. <laughs> All righty. All righty. Oh, thank you, Dean. Uh, no problem. I hope it helped. Yeah, I mean, just uh, trying to see if there was another twist to that. I, you know, thank yeah, you, it. appreciate it, it. and um, you know, great, great work. Yeah, agree with thine adversary.
Agree with your adversary. Agree with your adversary. Get agreement before you go to the judge. Okay. Okay, thank you.